personalize projects with special texts or words with 10 different built-in alphabet fonts in the embroidery computer. Selected fonts are available in vertical or horizontal justification. With WordArt, the spacing between the letters and the arch and curve of the baseline can be varied. In the main embroidery menu, touch the alphabet folder. Select the King Charles font, vertical justification. Now, touch the lowercase icon. Type in the word Create and approve with the green check. In the top left corner of the screen, touch the hoop icon. Select the optional mega hoop. To rescale or alter the size of the text, touch the rescale icon. Turn the stitch width knob to the right to increase the size of the text to 110%. Now touch the word art icon to increase or decrease the spacing between the letters or to alter the curve of the baseline. Turn the stitch width knob to the right to increase the spacing between the letters to 74. Turn the stitch length knob to the left to curve the baseline to the left. Touch the rotate motif icon two times. Touch the Move Motif icon to reposition the motif. Turn the Stitch Width knob to move the motif horizontally and the Stitch Length knob to move the motif vertically within the hoop. Or use Drag and Drop. Move the motif to the upper end of the hoop. You can add other motifs by touching the Add Motif icon. The screen automatically goes back to the alphabet menu or the last menu from which you selected the last motif. Select the font Child's Play Vertical. Touch the lowercase icon and type in Create. As soon as more than one motif is in the hoop, the individual motifs within the combination can be selected, edited, or deleted if desired. Touch the Retrieve icon and the motifs are highlighted one by one or all at once as a combination. Motifs can be deleted when they are highlighted by touching the delete icon, then approving with the green check. Touch the add motif icon again, select the Victoria vertical. Touch the lowercase icon and type in create. Increase the size to 110%. Touch the word art icon and reshape the curve. Touch the rotate icon and turn the stitch width knob to rotate create as desired and position in the lower corner. Touch the add motif once more. To retrieve motifs from a USB stick, touch the USB stick icon to access designs on the stick. Increase the size to 110%. When the motif combination is complete and all editing is finished, approve with the green check and automatically the stitch out screen appears. An animation will occur to tell you that the hoop is going to move. Approve by pressing the green check. Machine basting the fabric to the embroidery stabilizer can add extra stability within the stitching field and can be easily removed after embroidery is completed. Two basting options are available, either around the inner hoop or around the parameters of the entire embroidery design. Select the Baste Around the Hoop option. The function to cut threads between individual letters can be deactivated for an additional option. If you want your design to be stitched out in the same color without stopping after each word is stitched out, select the monochrome icon. The total number of stitches in the entire embroidery design is visible in the gray color bar just below the hoop on the screen. The black color bar indicates the time needed to stitch out the individual colors. The color bar below the black is the current color of the motif to be stitched out. Touch the scroll arrows at each end of the color bar to scroll through the design color by color.
The stitch out time is visible on the screen to the right of the gray bar and the individual color time to the right of the color bar. Change colors if desired by going into the editing screen, touching spool of thread icon, touching the color bar, and customizing the colors as you desire. Now we can start the stitch out process. The basting stitch is sewn first, then the motif.